So hello everybody, it is Friday and it's time for another Tax Fridays, a new tax function every single Friday. Now, in today's Tax Fridays, I'm going to do a video about something you've been asking me quite a lot actually, and it is, what is the difference between all and all except? And I wanted to wait until I review the remove filters function because it just makes everything so easy, in at least in my head. So. If you haven't seen that video, I published it last Friday, go there and watch it first and then come back, okay? If you haven't seen it, hang on. So we're going to see the difference between all and all except. Okay, so let's jump into Power BI. This is a file, this is a Northwind data set that we always use and this file will be available for you to download at curval.com resources, download center and then Dax Fridays. Okay, with that said, how about we get started with today's video? So here's the thing. You have to think about all as remove all filters and all except remove all filters except. And then suddenly things will make sense because that name you know explains what the function does basically. So no more words, more action. Let's jump into Power BI. Here's the thing we have here. Let's put city two. We have a table with country and city from the customers table and then some of sales. That's it. So what we're going to do now is we want to calculate the sales for all countries, all cities. And we wanted to have it on each row. We wanted to have it here to be able to calculate percentage. This is normal calculation. So what we basically want to do is we want Power BI to ignore that there is a filter here. There is a column called country acting as a filter and there is a column called city acting as a filter. We want to remove these two filters and have um, Power BI calculate sales without them. How do you do that? You go in here, new measure, and sales, all locations, and we just calculate, we put sales, and now we are going to put, let me put it there, all, and we want to remove the filter from all the columns on the customer table. So, Whatever you put in there, ignore it. Okay, so we put here cal calendar and then we're going to put uh, customer. So you put it in there. And as you can see, it's giving us the same number, which is the total on each row, which is exactly what we wanted because now you can divide these minus this and then you get the percentage. So great. Anything I put in there, is not going to affect that calculation at all. Okay, so you can try it. It just won't budge. Whatever you put in there is just not going to change the calculation of this set sum of cells. Awesome, great. That's what we wanted. Now, we're going to have use all, which is remove all filters. Instead of using the entire table, we're going to use one column. So we're going to see remove the filters from the column country. How do you do that? So we want to ignore the column country, the filter that the column country puts on the measure, in other words. Okay, so let's create that measure. We have here, we go new measure, and we're going to call calculate the sales except country. So we go here, we put calculate, sales, and then we put all, and then country. So what we're saying is give me the sales of whatever I put in there, except when I put country. When I put country, ignore it. Okay, you want to give it a go? We put it in there, and then it's giving us the sales per city. You can see it here. And let's say, how do you know it's working? How do you know it is in ignoring country? If I remove city, what happens? You see the difference? This wouldn't batch either if I had country or city. This one reacts when I remove city because I told him explicitly, 
calculate sales but not by country by anything else but not by country that is exactly what it's doing so i'm going to put it in there back into our and you'll see the difference right now what happens if i want to calculate sales of only country i want you to ignore everything else because when i put sales here and i have city it is calculating the sales by city not by country now i want to have the sales by country okay so watch this we're going to go here new measure and we're going to calculate the sales by country only so how do you do calculate and then we put sales and then we put remove all filters except what country oh sorry all except uses first the table and then yeah that's the actual syntax for it so now watch what happens we're going to put it a little bit here so we get a place for it open it up are you ready uh, there we have it What is it doing? So as you can see, these two are not the same. So it's calculating something else. What is it calculating? Let me put country in there as a filter. And we're going to filter by, I don't know, Finland. This plus this is 19. So this is giving us the country, the sales by country ignoring that city is here so this filter that is affecting this one and this one is not affecting that one does it make sense so basically what you do with all and all except you say i don't want this filter in or i want this filter in so all is remove the filter that you specified all except is remove everything else except the filter that i specified I think the, the, the confusion comes because it says all except, all, but all except what? Keep, remove? What is it? That's why I really, really, really like the fact that they wrote remove filter because then it's super clear what is going on. So do you understand what is going on now? So if I remove country, this cannot, because country is not there acting as a filter, it's just giving us the total. So you can see that it's responding by it. So if I put country again, it will give us the sales by country, which is in here. So here we have by city. If I if we put it in there, Austria, you have it here. It's this plus this. Okay. So I hope this makes sense. Again, Put it in your brain. All is remove all filter and all except is remove all filter except. And if you remember that, you'll know what is going on. I'm sure of that. So I don't think they can change the name at this point of the game, but maybe they can introduce new functions that does that. So, okay. I hope that this clarifies the difference between both. And uh, yeah, it is all for today. I will see you again on the next video, which will be on Monday. And until then, I wish you a great holi holidays, not holidays, <laughs> weekend. And I will see you again on Monday as always. And take care. Bye bye.